<laughs> it's not me. Why are you looking at me? It's you. Ah. I'm I am Haki Day. I'm not Olu. I can maintain. <laughs> oh God. Sometimes I actually wonder, are you guys sick? Well, who are you talking to? People can't see who you're talking to. Mm, I'm talking to our <laughs> guest who made that joke. Are you guys you, sick? He, you don't know who he is. I will introduce him. Relax. <laughs> okay. I mean, I have to follow up from that thing he closed with. Okay. Are you guys all right? Well, it depends on what you call all right. <laughs> oh, if, this, this is all right for you. Honestly. Hmm? If oh. all right is paying the bills, well, if not being all right is paying the bills, I mean... So you want to be not all right? I don't want to be all right. Okay, <laughs> um, all right. Let me quickly... Okay, introduce him, but no, just a quick follow-up on that one. You see this all right or not all right? Mm -hmm. I saw one of our guests, he's been here um, a couple times. Well, once. Uh, well, he's been here two times. A musician. That guy called Boyce Yoloro. You know he was here the other day. Um, one, one, the first time I saw him, after having listened to his songs on YouTube, guy... You're not okay. He said, I know. <laughs> Finish now. He said when he was okay, he was not making money. Uh, yes, sir. So now, he was thinking he's not okay. Mm? So, Olu Salako yes. has chosen to be not okay as well. Oh, he's also Olu. Mm. But can he maintain? I, I think I can. <laughs> I should be able to. <laughs> Welcome to Sunrise. Thank you very much for it's having okay. me. Thank you very much for having me. You Good to have you with us. Job. You already cracked us up even before we saw your face. It's just you know? one of those things. <laughs> one of those things here and there. I'm not trying to be proud or anything, but it's just... Well, You're not trying to be. I'm not trying just to be act. proud. I'm, I'm not a proud person. Uh -huh. But I do that, you know, it's just one of those things. Like they say these days, you are, you are not proud in. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not proud in. You're not. No, no, no. You're not. No, no, no. You're not. I'm Boo. not portable. Yeah. <laughs> Boo. Uh, he's not. You're not. Book. No. Uh, mm. Okay. Uh, okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. <coughs> Actor, writer, producer, event host with a career spanning over a decade. Yeah, actually. How did it start for you? Uh, wait. Don't tell me you also left the bank to come to comedy. No, 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 no. Uh, I actually started... What did you leave? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So the way it started, I'd always like been an. I was a child actor, so to speak, if you if you want to put it that way. So I've been on the, in the corridors of entertainment, um, in school and everything. But when when I was in year two. Of course, I had always loved jokes. I've been, I've been writing jokes since I was in secondary school, but not to be any mind to take it up as a career. But apparently, it dawned on me in year two that I think this is what I want to do in my life because. Year, year two, studying what? Where? <laughs> Electrical engineering. Oh dear. <laughs> studied me for. Because <laughs> I wasn't studying it. Anyways, so I was, I was studying. Electrical engineering? I was studying electrical engineering in Covenant. Covenant University at the time, but I was in a theater group in school. That's a private university. Oh yes, it is. And his father paid a bomb mm -hmm. for him to study electrical don't, engineering. Don't, he shocked you. Don't make him feel bad. He's watching this show. He <laughs> shocked <laughs> shock you. And he's well studying electrical engineering. Uh, Alero. Mm. Electrical engineering. He shocked you. He shocked you. Yes, he shocked. <laughs> that was a good one. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> No, but, 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 so it, I used to be, I, I got so engrossed in the theater group thing. I like, of course, anytime I'm on stage, even as an actor, like on stage acting, there was always the funny aspect because I've been creating jokes. Or I just love entertaining people. As a matter of fact, when I was doing my interview to get into Covenant, one of the questions they asked in the letter was, what do you enjoy doing? And I wrote it, guess what, I didn't even plan, this was before I entered school, I didn't plan on doing comedy, I just said, I just, I like making people laugh. <laughs> My father saw it, I said I should change it. <laughs> something more serious, like reading or something. But that was actually what I, what I had always enjoyed doing. And I just felt like, you know what, why don't I just take this I'm seriously? I'm almost certain that he didn't find it funny. That did not find it. In fact, it's, I, I have to joke where I say that. It was my result that told my daddy I was a funny person. Because he just looked at, wow, wow, wow. This is so <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> my daddy has seen the F's. <laughs> funny. 
Very funny result. No, you're, jo you're joking. <laughs> Am I with a mic? No. <laughs> you are joking. Okay. You want it to be a joke real bad. <laughs> you are joking. If you say so. Because your father can't pay all that money and then you... <laughs> <laughs> I'm ugly. No, but, but, but he, he, I, I always tell him that he didn't waste his money, though. <laughs> no, he didn't, because I started from school. I mean... Yeah, so the, bo the good thing is you meet the people you work with from school. Shout out to him, oh my God, for example. It was, it was his platform that I had my first stand-up comedy performance ever. Okay. That was 2009. He was also a student. <laughs> but he had, done, he had been doing comedy for a while. And so he organized the show. And that was my first stand-up comedy performance. I got stand innovation so, and so. So you now left school. Did you graduate, by the way? No, I didn't. Why not? Comedy. <laughs> comedy happened. Oh, so, okay. so you com left school. Yeah. Comedy shock you. To go and do comedy. Yeah. What did mom say? Let's start from mom first. <laughs> it was it was it was it was not a funny matter. <laughs> now that was not funny. <laughs> <laughs> now that wasn't funny. Okay. But but I mean we've passed that now. It, it, it didn't seem like it at the time because I was in school, I was not a bad student, like I was not a terrible, I was not the bad child. I was not, I was just the child that was not facing the studies. <laughs> so I wasn't, so I used to, I used to almost tell them that, ah, there are people that are caught this now, there are other, other wait, wait, like, wait, wait. <laughs> The child that does not face his studies is called what? A bad student. A good child. But if you compare him to someone that, that went to chase, like maybe someone involved in courtism, for example, like, Okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's good. You okay. choose this one. <laughs> okay, so that's what we're comparing it with. <laughs> oh, with right. the, 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 so the, the share. I was not a bad child. I, I was, was just bad. a bad student. <laughs> <I was. laughs> Okay, all right, I hear you. I like I the nomenclature. So I was a bad child, I was just a bad student. Okay, so <laughs> what did your mother say when you now decided to leave all together and go do comedy? There was a lot of prayers. <laughs> Fasting. A lot of videos, a lot of deliverance. I can't count how many people have spoken to me in my life. Like, oh. go and talk to him, talk to him, talk oh. to the. Uh, um, <laughs> interestingly, like, <laughs> <laughs> but it was all funny to me because I've always been the good child, and so, and it was he no, insists. no, no, no. <laughs> he insists. Okay, I've right. always been the good child, and I think that was what was heartbreaking for them too, as well, because. They didn't expect it for me. I'm not saying my brother was a bad child, but I'm sure if they were to choose <laughs> <laughs> from antecedents, like from this, antecedents, this is not only really anti, it's uncle, antecedents. <laughs> if if this video is going to this, you know, recording is going to be on YouTube, your brother is going to see it. <laughs> your mom is going to see it. But I have, a, I have a fantastic family. My brother is one of the people I look, I look up to the most. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's an amazing brother. <laughs> My elder brother, yeah. Okay. Mm. Are okay. there just two of you? Yeah, we're just two. Oh, okay. two boys. Two fine boys. Mm. They're just number. You're not no. proud, Ingo. I'm not. Okay. I don't like to blow my well, phone. But you still haven't told us what mommy said. Yeah, there were, a lot of there were a lot of prayers. Like, it wasn't a good time but for both of them. Of course, they really wanted me to. But, I mean, funny enough, I don't even think I've said this. I've been this in-depth about it in any interview, but, yeah. Um, so, but it was, it was one of those things that eventually, seeing that comedy now paid off, kind of... No, we'll come to how it paid off. Okay. So... Um, but at that time, yes. they, weren't, they weren't finding it funny. Okay. And so, at what point did the turnaround begin? Because uh, we've been told quite a few times that success has its own tongue. Mm -hmm. At what point does it begin? Did it begin to change so opinion about you? When I left school, I just went into it. There, there was... Apart from the fact that this is what I love doing and I enjoy it, I do it with all my heart. There was, there was also additional pressure that this has to work. Like, I'm out naked now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I gave it all I could. Um, but also at the back of my mind, I've never really been the, the f chase fame or chase money at all costs kind of guy. I just really wanted to do what I was good at and grow at it. And, that is what, exactly what happened. So it wasn't a, it was a gradual growth. It still is. So it was a gradual growth. At some point, I met 
Omobaba number one, who, um, shout out to Omobaba number one, by the way. Um, myself and D1 did comedy clubs with him for a long time, and that kind of helped my craft as well. And on one end, there was social media. I did, a, I started doing skits. I've always been doing skits anyways, even from the early days of YouTube. But I started doing skits on social media, but there were a few skits caught on, and people really loved the brand. And from there, from there on, I did my special, my stand-up comedy special. Uh, of course, I started doing Stand Up Nigeria, organized by Bumi David. I started doing major shows in Nigeria, Bovi Man on Fire. Then I went on tour with Basket Mouth in no, the UK. You're going foul. So I'm trying to tell you the, the trajectory. Slow down, slow down, slow <laughs> down. The first time you got paid for comedy. That was in school. Okay. That was. Did you take that money home? Nah. nah I'm talking about the one that began to change mommy and daddy's mind. Okay. When I I think because honestly I don't think money would have changed their mind because they are not exactly... I know, I understand so, that. Okay. So what changed their mind or what started to change their mind is success, is gradual recognition. So I, I started getting things like, they said they saw you on... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they said. One day my father, my father sat me down and said, apparently I made my father start watching, uh, start looking out for comedy, comedy and stuff. The day I finally knew that my father was Combated. down with this was he sat me down and for one hour he was giving me jokes. It's a lie. Uh -oh. I'm not. I'm not exaggerating. I have it recorded. Oh no! So it's in the gene then. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, he's a he's a scriptwriter and a director oh. for for he, he used to do that part time in church. So so when I knew that he we were into it when he sat down, I started giving me jokes. But mom. A lot of people, apparently, a lot of people, there's no way to hide from me because a lot of people go, Mori or Mori, I saw your child at... Uh... <laughs> so, so events. <laughs> yeah. Now, tell me about this Wasiu person. But that Wasiu is an alter ego of mine. Um, Omoribi Custard. You are not a bastard. Look at you. Omoribi Custard. Yeah, so I, I... While I was... Again, I've always enjoyed entertaining people. So, it, whichever platform I found, <laughs> I did that. And so... <laughs> When Instagram came and I was able to start doing skits, I, I played with a lot of characters. But there was one that just a, an elderly man that, was, that liked girls and used to give... Yeah, that's what I was saying. Anyways, so that was the character. Is, but that was you, a taxi driver, or what is it? You can, you, but he's always in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows his house. Even me, I don't know his house. <laughs> Nobody knows his house. <laughs> Nobody knows his house. But he plays with words. That was mm -hmm. that was what caught on. A lot of people that I, so And he's talking in English. In English with a little bit of Yoruba. I'm gonna be custard. You're not a bastard. Look at you. How have you been? So he just he plays <laughs> around with words. The lyrics. And he, yeah. Oh. He plays around with lyrics, he plays around with words and he talks about topical issues. Too. Oh, okay. Yeah. I so, gotta go look for this then. I, I'm curious about something though. Mm. Please feel free. I'm here for you. Was there ever, no, I can't be here for you. <laughs> Was there ever a time where mom and dad didn't know you would be hosting an event and you were there and they saw you? Uh, that, I think, okay, no. There was not a time where they didn't know. Okay. But there was a time when I, hosted, I had to host an event when they were there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but one major one was at my show. Okay. They both came. Okay. They even invited friends. At my show um, in 2018, which also, which also kind of like, it was a blessing and a a, a, a curse too. Because I, I, there there just a limit to some things you can say in front of your parents. <laughs> but 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 yeah, there was that and. You know, there, there was never a time, although there were times where their friends will or their people will and they'll be like, oh, I heard that you did this, I heard that you did that, I heard that you did that. And my dad started advising me, giving me, like, practical tips. Now, that, that leads to, you know, the issue that many young people usually have. Yeah. And that is uh, trusting parents to lead or direct. Um, you have a passion, you want to go all for it, mm -hmm. you know, in it fully and all of those things. Mm -hmm. But it would seem like mommy and daddy are just not 
seeing what you're saying. Um, for you, it worked out. But for many people, it may not have. What would you, how, how would you, because it's a very dicey thing. Mm. So, so I, think, I think, first of all, you need to be true to yourself and not deceive yourself. So, so <clears throat> you need, and I don't also believe in shutting the door. I don't believe in, um, so one thing my parents would say, or even people that used to talk to me then would say was that I was never disrespectful. I was never, I, I never pushed them away or just said, you know what, I'm not doing this. I was never, but I, I, I would see reason with you. I'll try and explain my point and I would like go ahead with what I was going to do anyways. But it was never, so I don't think we should shut out the older people. The truth is that, even if you are seeing your picture, whatever you are seeing and you believe it, whatever they are saying is not malicious. It's not for malicious intent. It's actually out of love. And if you see the intention behind it, you would not just push them. You understand? I mean, if not for education, if not for what my, my father's school, it would not be where it was at, or where he is today. And so that meant a lot to him. He, want, he wants the best for his child, and he, yeah. which actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So now you're taking that risk. So I did, I did it in such a way that my father used to tell me several times that if you, if you run into any trouble, I'm still here. Wow. I'm still here because there was no fights. There was no full-blown fight unless, even though I could have been stern at some point, but you, so everything is wisdom because you don't know it all. Okay. That's so, what parents do. Yeah. yeah. So what's the next If you fall, okay. so they'll, is they'll be right there. Yeah. Just yeah. make sure you don't pull that your mommy down with you. <laughs> so what's next for SLK? A, a lot, a lot. Um, so I shot my series, my sitcom, my first um, sitcom series is in the works. We are 90 percent done. It's it Boda was you? No, it's not. It's not Boda was you. <laughs> Just ask. It's more like a rom com. Boda. <laughs> B O D A was you. Then more. I just started my comedy club on the island. Uh, Johnny Rockets. So it's called JJC. Jokes, jabs, and chills with SLK. Every Wednesday, just come chill. Where? Johnny Rockets VI. Okay. So you just come chill, relax, have fun. Um, that's how. Yeah, comedy club is the comedy club idea is still novel in Nigeria. So it's not. It's not but it's picking up fast, and we've done two editions already. So we are we are really uh, going on fine. Is that and, what you're comparing? What you're putting in the series? No, 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 that's not what, what I'm mean. saying. The series, the series is a rom-com. What's it? What's the series called? Friends of Landlord. It, it's a rom. Friends of. Friend Land Zone. It's Friend a rom-com. Okay. <laughs> it's a rom-com, but but that's still in the works. That's almost out. Anyways, then the final thing is my next comedy special. So we did one in 2018, which went to the cinema. It was the first Nigerian stand-up comedy special in the cinema ever, oh, okay. and that was in 2019. <laughs> So we're doing another one this year. We're shooting another one this and year. And it's titled? God's grace. Tito Teller. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we could go on and on with you, but clearly we've run completely out of time. Oh. We have to thank you very much for being a part of this conversation this uh -huh. morning. Well. But that was you. But <laughs> Thank you very much for coming. <laughs> but that was you. Thank you very much. Unusalako, <laughs> 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 uh, also known, popularly known as SLK, a stand up comedian. Thank you again for your time today. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. And that's it. Yes. For today. The